Hello there and welcome to SNMB Academy. So moving on from the basic arithmetic sequences like we've done before, we're now going to move on how to form an expression using the arithmetic sequence formula. So in front of you on the screen over here, as you can see, that's the arithmetic sequence formula. So a sub n equals to a sub 1 plus d bracket n minus 1. Now every single letter in here holds an identity. So let's start from a1 over here. Now a is always going to be the first term of the sequence. Moving on to d over here. D will always be the difference between the two consecutive terms. And lastly, the n is the nth term. So that's the term that we're trying to find. So this n and this n are exactly the same. I'm just circling that as well. So this is what the formula is, and every single letter holds an identity. So let me just put that to a side so we can practice a question. Okay, so let's just do an example. So if I have a sequence as um, 4, 7, 10, and 13. Now, first thing is if we look at the difference between the two terms, it's plus 3. Difference between the two terms, plus 3, plus 3. So, using the example, or uh, using the equation that we have over here, let's form an expression. So, a to the power, uh, a to uh, sub n equals to, first term is 4, 4, plus d, the difference. What's my difference of plus 3? So, plus 3, bracket, bracket, n is the m term, that'll stay n because we're just forming an expression, minus 1, minus 1. So we're just plugging in the numbers. So, following on, 4, expand the bracket, so that's plus 3 multiplied by n, so that's plus 3n. And then plus 3 we multiply by minus 1, so we're multiplying 3 with everything inside the bracket. So, positive 3 multiplied by negative 1. Now, we need to be very careful that that's positive 3 multiplying by negative 1. It's not just 1. A lot of people, you know, do this mistake that they don't consider the signs and they just multiply the numbers, but the signs are extremely important. That's, that's what we're doing. So, positive 3 multiplied by negative 1. Let's just do that here. 3 multiplied by negative 1 gives me a negative 3. So, that would be a negative 3. Now, let's just hold and use, you know, add the like term. So, 3n, 3n say that it is. 4 take away 3, that's positive 1. And that becomes the expression of this sequence over here. Now, let's just say if you want to test it out to see if it actually works. So, if we are doing, let's just do the first term. So, my first term is 4. So, if I find my first term, that will be a sub 1, because my n term is a 1, because that's the first term we find it out. 3, n would be 1, plus 1. And that gives me 3 multiplied by 1 is 3 plus 1, 4. That's exactly what we have over here. Let's just do another one as a sub 2. So that's 3 multiplied by 2 plus 1. So 3 multiplied by 2, 6 plus 1, 7. And we have 7 over here. So nice and easy. If you just follow the formula, plug in the numbers, consider your signs, look after them, you get an expression, and which will be always correct. Now, let's just try a harder sequence. So over here, you can see the sequence is increasing. So let's just have a look at the sequence that's decreasing. So we'll just get rid of this. Okay, so let's just say I have a sequence as 5, 1, minus 3, and minus 7. Now, if you look over here, 5 to 1, I'm decreasing by 4. 1 to minus 3, decreasing by 4. Decreasing by 4. So, using the exact same thing as we done in the previous example, so, form an expression first. So, a to the power of n 
equals to a1 my first term that's 5 my difference now is negative 4 so negative 4 open bracket open bracket and stay as n minus 1 close bracket so let's just expand now 5 stays 5 minus 4 now multiplying with everything inside the bracket so let's multiply by n first so minus 4 multiply by n minus 4 in then minus 4 multiplied by minus 1 i can be very careful that minus is along with the 1 so minus 4 multiplied by minus 1 positive 4 and that follows on to adding the like term so minus 4 in says minus 4 in 5 plus 4 positive 9 and there we have the expression for this sequence now let's test that out to see if it's actually right so if we want to do the first term so a1 equals to minus 4 n is 1 because the first time we're trying to find out plus 9 and that gives me minus 4 multiplied by 1 minus 4 plus 9 a positive 5 let's have a look at the second term so a2 minus 4 again in bracket 2 because my second term plus 9 so minus 4 multiplied by 2 minus a plus 9 a positive 1 so again positive 1 so very straightforward very nice and easy just remember the formula plug in the numbers be very careful of the signs and you'll get your expression